Hi there, everybody. Today we are looking at um, one quantity as a percentage of another, and potentially looking at oh, well, we have been looking at percentage um, increase or percentage decrease. All right, so let's have a look. So to express one number as a percentage of another, we need to divide the first number by the second number. Um, that's easy as it is, and then times it by 100, essentially. So if I say to 24 out of 40, as a fraction, it's 24 over 40. Obviously, if I'm doing the calculation, so it's 24 divided by 40 it equals 0 0.6. And then, of course, as a percent, you just times it by 100. That's as straightforward as that, really. So 24 divided by 40, um, and then times it by 100. All right, so you're basically going to turn it into either just a, a decimal, and then times it by 100. 60%. All right, so 250 grams of cake contains 90 grams of sugar. What percent of the cake is sugar? So it's going to be 90 out of 250, isn't it? Oh, so 90 divided by 250 times by 100. And there you go, 36%. All right, really, really kind of straightforward stuff. Right, so if I'm looking for a percentage increase, um, well, again, we're looking at the amount that it's gone up by. All right, so a little, a little bit about the cake idea in terms of once you've figured out the amount, then the percentage is obviously that value, isn't it? All right, so percentage increase is the amount it's increased divided by the original and times it by 100. All right, so if a petrol price increased from 112 to 119, find the percentage increase. Well, the amount it's gone up by is 7p, so it's going to be 7 out of 112, so 7 divided by 112 times by 100. All right, so 7, but if we can get there, 7 divided by 112 times by 100. All right, which is 6.25%. So what has gone up or down? And up, because it increases, it was gone up by, divide it by what it started as, and then times by 100. Okay, well, percentage decrease, I'm just kind of giving it away. Well, it's pretty much the same thing. So it's the amount it's been decreased by and divided by the original amount. So an example, the weight of a chocolate bar decreased from 72 to 63. Well, it's gone down nine grams. So nine divided by the original, which was 72, so 9 out of 72 times by 100, all right? So 9 divided by 72 times by 100, which is 12.5%, okay? So I want you to think carefully in terms of obviously how much practice you think you need. Of course, if you think you do, then go to mass-school.co.uk, where there's obviously a bunch of questions for you to have a go at. All right, thanks for listening.